Friends, welcome back to the sawmill. This is my first day up here since getting back from Georgia last weekend. And if you didn't see those videos, I made two of them. There's links down below. Go check them out. You can see my buddy Jake saw up a giant 38-foot sinker cypress that they got from the bottom of a, a river or a lake. I'm not sure which one down in South Georgia. That was a really nice log. Really interesting, the history behind it. And some people were asking also in that video, what's going to become of the lumber from that log? Well, that was a customer log. Jake was only hired to saw it up. The customer requested two beams out of it and the rest of it be sawed into boards. And I think, I, I believe Jake said they're gonna make some shiplap for some walls out of those boards that came off the sides of the beams right there. But I can't remember for sure. I think that's what they're gonna do with them because they got a lot of lumber out of that log around those beams. I think he saw those at 10 by 12. I think if I remember right, 10 by 12. So we're up here at the sawmill and we're gonna finish up this red oak that I started last Thursday. We were quarter sawing it. So we got this piece right here to finish up and I have one more side of the log over here in the loading arms. I don't know if we'll quarter saw it, it depends on how the grain looks. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But we'll definitely flip this one over and quarter saw it. And let me show you guys what we're gonna do. I'll bring the camera in closer. So last week when I finished up, this was the last cut that I took and the grain is running real nice right here. It's running 90 degrees to the face of the board. That's why we're getting those nice medullary rays. Now we got a wedge right here and that's what you get when you use the reverse roll quarter sawing method that Robert Milton came up with down in Alabama. And it works really good. If you can get used to this method, I think, in my opinion, it's the best way to quarter saw a log. So at this point right here, I don't have a lot of room to clamp it on the sides and it starts getting dangerous as far as the camp moving on us. So we'll flip it over, we'll put this on the face of the mill or the deck of the mill, that sounds a whole lot better. And we'll start on this end coming down. We'll do one or two cuts right here and get rid of this little uh, triangle that's right here at the bottom. And after we get rid of that, we'll have one or two boards that are rift sawn and then the grain should straighten up after that and get about two or three more quarter sawn boards. All right, so a few more things here. We've got a new blade on the sawmill. I just put that on there this morning. Joe Main Silvertip Turbo 7. Guys, if you want those blades, give Joe a phone call. His cell phone number's down in the video description. Now Joe was down in Georgia with us at Jake's place this past weekend. And he told me he can also get you Woodmizer Double Hard Blades as well if you prefer that blade. And I think, I think he can get free shipping on those. I can't remember, I'll put it right here because I can't remember, I don't want to misspeak right there. But uh, I think he can get free shipping on the Woodmizer Double Hard Blades, but I'm not sure. So if you want those blades, give him a phone call. As always, his cell phone number is down in the video description. So we'll finish this one up first and we'll put the other half on here and get it done. And uh, after that, I need to either start an order for red oak or an order for cedar that I took the other day. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna start first. I'll think about that while we're sawing this up.
All right, guys, real quick, finished up that one pretty fast with the other half ready for the meal. I was going to share with you guys how these boards are turning out. Check that out. Look at those medullary rays right there. Man, those are nice. So right there's the rays. Some people call it tiger stripe oak. It's actually quarter saw medullary rays. That's the correct terminology for this, but look at that. Going across the face right there. When you see your board and you got perfect straight grain going on with oak and you see those medullary rays, you know you did it right. I wasn't gonna do this because this is the first log of the day, but I think I'll throw some water on this one. What do you guys think? I think it'll look pretty good. Friends, here's the other part of that log, and it looks pretty rough. Got some rot right there, a lot of wane on that edge. But once we work down through that, it should be okay. You can see the grain right there. I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm not gonna try to roll it for quarter sawing. So we'll get some rift sawn boards right here. You can see the grain going in that direction. That's rift sawn. But once we work down here closer to where the pith used to be right there in the middle, we should capture some decent quarter sawn boards right in here, then finish up with some more rift sawn right there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. 